this video we will be going through the installation process of DNA Fusion. If this is your first time installing DNA Fusion on a site or test environment, you will require a username and password provided by the Inside Sales Administrator. In the same email, you will be provided with a download link for the latest version of DNA Fusion. This download link can also be obtained off of the software download section of the ooaccess.com website. Prior to the installation, ensure that you have a local machine administrator credentials. This will be required during the installation. Once downloaded, ensure that you extract the download from the zip file. Failure to do so will cause errors during the installation. Next, you will open the download file, right click on DNA Fusion Executable, and install as administrator. The license agreement will populate. Click Accept, then click Next. In the user information, enter a username and an organization if desired, then click Next. Next will be the components window. The server will require all three boxes checked, client, server components, and COM plus packages. Once selected, click Next. You will select the desired database server configuration in the database server option window. The recommended install is for any installation that does not have an instance of SQL already installed. This option will create an instance of SQL Express and house the DNA Fusion database in that instance. The other install options include existing server and existing database. The existing server options is for installations that already have the full version of SQL. This will house DNA Fusion database in the pre-existing instance. The existing database options is for installs where a DNA Fusion database already exists in an instance of SQL. The software will point to the database and pull in existing information. For this example, we will go with install as a separate instance. You will need to enter your startup or local machine administrator credentials. Once entered, click verify. The test should be successful. Click next. The select additional task window gives you the options to create a desktop shortcut and the required firewall exclusions. Click next and install. Once the install completes, you can select the checkbox to launch the application.